guys, my name is Kayla Rain, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a Lush haul from my first ever time at Lush. So I live out in the middle of nowhere, and the closest Lush to me is anywhere between a four to five hour drive, depending on traffic, so not very close. I mean, it's so far away that I can't even get one of their fresh face masks because it would die before I got home and just be very bad. So, I found myself in Atlanta over the weekend and decided to stop by the Lush store that they had there in Macy's at the mall that's in Atlanta. Do I really know what it's called? Because I'm not from there. But I stopped by and I picked up some goodies and I wanted to share them with you and just talk about them because I'm very, very excited to finally own some Lush products. Yes, it's a good thing. It's an exciting thing for me. So I'll just go ahead and reach into the bag and see what I pull out first. Oh yeah. Okay, so I went ahead and picked up the Dragon's Egg Bath Bomb, and this is one that I knew I wanted to pick up for sure because being the book nerd that I am, I love dragons. Um, fantasy is one of my favorite book genres, and I just had to pick this up because the name Dragon Egg, hello, that's cool, and it smells so good. It smells kind of fruity, but it's really sweet, like almost like a candy fruity, kind of like a sweet tart, I would say, and it's, I mean, it has things that look like little sweet tarts in it, and I guess this changes your bath water to different colors, and it also has glitter in it, it says, and it also has pop rocks in it, so it'll pop and kind of fizzle, which I think will be really cool, and I just love the smell of this. I can't wait to use this. Maybe I'll use it tonight. Um, I'll go ahead and post a picture on Instagram of the bathwater whenever I do use it, so if you're curious, just follow me and I'll leave that in the down bar below where you can find my Instagram. <sighs> okay, the next thing that I have is the Creamy Candy Bubble Bar. I mean, this really does have like such a creamy consistency, so I'm really looking forward to using this. And it smells so, so good. It just smells like very fresh vanilla. It's not a really sugary scent to me. It just smells fresh and clean and vanilla-y. And I really like it. And it has this really pretty flower on it too. So I'm actually planning on using probably like a nub of this in my bath when I use the dragon's egg. Because I think that the scents will go really, really well together. It just smells so lovely. Next, I have Lord of Misrule Bath Balm. And... I actually had no intentions of buying this. I know that it is a Halloween exclusive, but the woman who is helping me get all my stuff said that this is a must-have for her, so I decided, since she was so super helpful and helped me find all my other stuff, that her opinion is valid and very important to me. So I bought this, and it smells really lovely. It has kind of like, like I can't explain it. It smells kind of fizzy to me. And it smells kind of like it has a vanilla scent to it as well. But more of like that fresh vanilla, kind of like the creamy candy. I'm not sure what this does to the bath water, but I'm just going to let it surprise me. Maybe it'll look like a bubbly witch's cauldron and be green and wonderful. Next, I have my little Lush tin, which is holding the lotion bar that I picked up. And I ended up getting the lotion bar per cup. My fiance used this, and there's totally arm hair on it. So, Chris gross clean it off um but it is really nice i've actually already used it on my hands and my legs and it sinks in really nicely um but basically all you do is you just warm it up in your hands and then you just let it sink into the skin and it's really moisturizing and nice and my hands have genuinely felt softer since i've been using it for the past day or so so i really really like it and it does feel a little greasy at first, but if you give it time to sink in, it feels really nice and silky. As far as soap goes, I picked up Karma Body Soap, and I actually wasn't going to buy any soap at all, just because I like using my body wash, and I like the body wash that I use, so I really didn't need it. But my fiancé smelled this and thought it was incredible, so I went ahead and picked it up so he could use it. And it does smell really nice. It's not something that I would necessarily use because it does smell very manly to me. It has like a spicy quality to it, but it also smells kind of masculine. But when Chris uses this, his skin smells so, so amazing. Like, 
It's just really lightly scented and I guess just like his body chemistry and pheromones and karma soap mixed together just make him smell so freaking delicious. Like I love the way he smells after he sees the soap so I'm probably going to keep purchasing it because it just makes him smell incredible. And finally I picked up some skincare items because I am trying to transition into cruelty free skincare, beauty, all that stuff. So I wanted to try out some of the products that they had to offer and kind of test them out because I want to get down pat on my skincare and makeup routine before the wedding day because I really don't want to be testing new products just a few months before because my skin is so incredibly sensitive and uh, that would just be a bad time for me. So I'm doing it now and trying to hammer things out and make sure that everything's good to go. So I'll go ahead and start with the cleanser that I picked up. And I picked up Herbalism and it is this really strange looking cleanser. Um, it's, it's like a green chunk and it, it's like a paste that feels kind of tacky to the touch. Um, and some of the ingredients in it are rosemary, fennel, and ground almond. So it does give your face like a really nice exfoliation, not anything too harsh. I've actually used this a couple of times and it's been really nice. It hasn't broken me out yet and it hasn't given me any skin irritation. So I do really like it. I've been using it in the evenings as opposed to morning and evening because where my skin is so sensitive, exfoliating twice a day is a bit much. But I really like it. Um, I'm not a big fan of the smell. It kind of stinks a little bit. But since I use it at night, I don't mind so much because then I just go to bed and I don't really know what is going on because I'm in dreamland. But it says, gentle herbal cleanser with ground almonds to exfoliate and rice vinegar to mop up excess oil. Help has arrived for troubled skin. So I really like it. I just grab a little bit... Um, probably about a pea size amount and then I run a little bit of warm water over it and just rub it between my fingers like this and then just gently massage it into my face and neck and then I rinse it off after I've been washing for two or three minutes and I'm very gentle with the, the facial motions. And then I also picked up a mask. I got the Mask of Magnamity. Yes. And it is the self-preserving version so I believe that this one does have parabens in it which is unfortunate, but for me, it has more natural products in it. So it's still like a good step up from what I've been using before. And ideally, I would like to use the fresh ones that aren't self-preserving, but unfortunately where I live so far away, that's just not an option for me. So this one was what I had to try, but I really, really like this mask. First of all, it smells so fresh and wonderful. It has a very gentle spearminty smell to it, so it's really relaxing. It's not incredibly pepperminty. Um, it's definitely more subtle than that, and it's not gonna just like hit you in the face with the smell. But it's really lovely, and it's like the color of mint chocolate chip ice cream. I mean, it actually looks kind of like you could eat it, but I'm not gonna try because I feel like it would not be very good. It also has some texture to it, so after you've let it sit for five to ten minutes, when you go to wash it off, it adds just a little bit of extra exfoliation, so it's cleansing. And this is for acne prone skin, which is something that I really struggle with. On top of having very sensitive skin, I'm very acne prone. So I am really excited to see if this actually does anything for my skin because I have a really difficult time finding products that fight acne that don't also mess up my skin where it's so sensitive. So I really hope that this works. I really like it so far though and it's been really relaxing and lovely and I just have to smell it again now because it smells so good. Okay guys, that has been it for today's video. I really, really like the Lush products that I've tried so far. I'm excited to use the bath products but I'm waiting for a night where I have just the whole evening off to just relax and pamper myself because I don't want it to be one of those quick rush baths and then I have to go run some errands or do meal prepping or catch up on work or anything. So I'm going to wait for the weekend when I can actually sit down and pamper myself for the entire evening and relax and enjoy that. And I will definitely be posting on Instagram my pictures when I try out my bath bombs because they're going to look so cool, I hope. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay weird.